Yeah, today uh, you're gonna learn how to create, save, and load mixer presets. Hello guys, my name is Clint Sale. I'm a mixer mastering engineer, and today I want to teach you guys how to create, save, and load mixer presets. First of all, I want you guys to please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well, hit the notification bell, just so you get uh, my subsequent videos. Okay, yeah, um, this is a recent job uh, that, that I just worked on by one of my artists, his name is um, T-Mite. Let me just show you guys a glimpse of um, how the song sounds there. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's um, a glimpse of the song. Um, so here is the lead vocal. Yeah, I, uh, this um, I grouped the lead vocals to a box, which is this. This is where I added my effects. So let's say, for instance, you see, I already have is um, so you can see it in my lead box. So I already have is um, preset uh, saved here. So just in case um, I want to save this now, uh, you're done with the preset and you like the preset and you want to use, you know, for a quick um, instead of you start instead of you to start when next you have a, a new job instead of you to start from beginning again to start mixing uh, from beginning from scratch, you might just not need to go through those um, all those or stress. You just need to. All you just need to do is to load up a new pre a, the same preset that I used in this previous job, but you might just have to like work on um, some sort of adjustments on the presets because um, the new song is going to be quite different from the way you handle the new song is going to be quite different from um, the the old one. So you still might need to adjust to some little adjustments on the voice, but just so. Let's say I want to save this preset as its lead box. Probably, I've, let's say I've not saved it before. All I just need to do is to click here. That's for people that use uh, uh, Logic. You click here, then you see, go to save channel strip settings. So once you save channel strip settings, you can see I already channel strip settings boss. So I already have it here. So I'll see, you can just type it or you can just type it whatever you want to save. So since I already have it saved here, I'll just click here. You can see, yeah, it's in my lead box. I'll just click save. So it's telling me it's in my lead box. Yes, do you want to replace it? Yes, replaced. So that's how to save your presets. You know. So let's say if next time I I have a job. Let's say um. Let's say I just got a new job from him and he wants me to mix it or I've got a new recording with, with which we've done and I just want to record. Let's let, I can just simply I can just simply just okay, let me just use the um, Let me use an instance. Let's say so. Let's assume if you know this job, and I need to work on this job. So now it has finished loading.
Yes, as in this, the lead voice of this track and is, is his own song. All I just need to do is to. So let's say I'll just all I just need to do is to kiss, take this, um, boss it to bo send this to boss one, the lead boss. So so you can say X one. So I'll name it lead box. Lead box. Then I'll just go to where user user channel strip settings then i'll go to you can see these are all the, my saved presets for now you know I, I just got a new system so there used to be loads of um artists uh, that that was saved here but since i got my new system i've not really um these are the few people that i've worked with recently that i've saved so um so let me just say I will just go here and load it in the lead box. You can see it's there. So all the effects that are used for for um C mind they are all here. So just clear. So now there's no I've no added delays or reverb yet and also some other little effects that needs to be sent to this track but these are the main presets that I use for mixing see my voice so that's how to create load your preset after saving so now you learn you already know how to save now you know how to load your preset as well thank you guys for watching please do not forget uh, forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as well if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button as well share this video comment let me know what videos you might want me to make on my next video thank you guys for watching